Hello everyone, this is the Insert Title Show and I'm your host, Wolf Strife. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about my M1917 Bolo Knife. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago from Atlanta Cutlery Corp and I've got to tell you man, this knife is fucking awesome. As soon as I saw it in the glass case, I was like, okay, I'm buying you. I mean, I don't care if it was $100. I was like, yeah, you're coming home with me, sweetie. And uh, this knife is just freaking awesome. I mean, it's big, it's heavy, it feels like a fucking chopper in your hand, and it's just freaking awesome. Uh, the knife itself is just really cool. I love the... Uh, it's kind of a rough-handled uh, wood grip. I like that. The blade itself is high-carbon steel, and... Uh, it's not sharpened, but I mean, I can take it somewhere and get it sharpened. And I like that it has a uh, reverse edge on the uh, top of the tip so that you can uh, slice somebody with a upper strike if you want to. So that's kind of cool. Kind of like a uh, buoy knife, I guess. The uh, scabbard for the knife is freaking awesome. It's uh, basically a canvas wrapped uh, wooden scabbard with a metal throat that you... Uh, slide the knife down into which is uh kind of cool i've never really seen a scabbard with a metal you know throat at the entrance for the knife to go down into so that's kind of cool it's kind of tricky getting the knife in there but i guess that's a good thing the knife's not going to fall out of the scabbard so uh yeah kind of tricky but you know like i said it won't fall out and uh it's got a uh, leather tip on the end of it to uh I guess just give it some padding so yeah the scabbard's freaking nice and the knife is freaking nice too so yeah it's a really really nice knife i might say this is my favorite knife that i own i mean this was definitely a surprise when i saw it in the store i was like holy shit and then when i got to touch it i was blown away by it but this is a reproduction of the real m 1917 bolo knife and I'm okay having a reproduction. I mean, I don't want to run around with a 100-year-old knife, even though that would be kind of cool, but eh, I'm fine with a reproduction. Uh, the originals, though, were pretty sweet. Um, they were made by the Plum Company, for the most part, and uh, on the knife it would have been stamped Plum uh, St. Louis or Plum Philadelphia. And it was also made by the American Cutlery Company in Chicago, so I guess it would have been... I don't know what the uh, stamp would have looked like, maybe uh, ACC Chicago or something. And uh, the knife was made in 1917 and 1918 and served in World War I and World War II. Yeah, it would have been issued to soldiers for cutting down brush and stuff, kind of making a kill zone for the machine gunners and stuff. So it was issued as a tool, not really a close quarters combat weapon, but... <laughs> I mean, just like the trench shovel and entrenching tool and pickaxe and all that stuff. If uh, push came to shove, it could definitely do some damage. It's definitely a chopper when you pick it up and swing it. Uh, it's <laughs> You can tell this thing would definitely do some damage. I would say it would only take about one or two good whacks to completely sever somebody's arm with it. I mean, it's pretty badass, so... Uh, and I actually used this knife in Battlefield 1, so it's pretty cool having the real thing in uh, real life. So, yeah, that's pretty sweet. And the history of the Bolo knife is pretty cool. The design comes from the Philippines. And the reason why Americans came into contact with it was after the Spanish-American War when we kind of took over control of the Philippines and had to fight guerrillas and stuff. So that's when Americans first came into contact with the knife. Guess that would have been the very early part of the 20th century, and uh, that's why by 1917 we had our own version of it. And it's a it's a very cool design. Um, hell, I remember using a bolo knife in Dead Island and uh, looking at the knife, going, "Man, that thing looks pretty damn dangerous." So yeah, it's cool having my own version of a classic knife.